Hi, welcome to my video. In it, I'm going to show you um, how I um, choose a fast VPN service to use. Um, now, a VPN is a virtual private network, as you probably know, um, and people use it for a couple of reasons. The main ones are security and privacy. Um, I myself use it because um, I travel a lot and I have to use hotel, airport, um, coffee shop, Wi Fi, and um, I don't consider that to be very safe when I want to access something like my home email or uh, my normal email account or my um, PayPal, home banking, stuff like that. These things are not, you, you're basically at the mercy of whoever runs them. Sometimes they're badly configured and sometimes they just don't work properly or sometimes people are actually trying to steal your details. So I always set up a, a Connect via VPN if I'm doing anything like that. Um, also, another reason people use it generally is for um, accessing geo-blocked stuff. So, for instance, when I'm outside the UK, I can't access BBC iPlayer because it only works in the UK. You want to use something like ABC or NBC, Hulu in the States. It, it doesn't work once you're outside the US. If you use a VPN, you can just connect <coughs> to a server in that country <coughs> and it'll work fine. So, if I'm... Uh, in a French airport, I can connect to a UK VPN server and watch the BBC News, for instance. And thousands of people use that. Okay, well, I'm just going to show you how I do my um, test for a, a fast VPN. Um, the main reason that I stress that a VPN should be fast is the majority of them available online are not. They're slow. They're overloaded. They sell too many subscriptions. And they just run like three-legged dogs. And if you're going to use a slow VPN, it's not worth using. So I'm going to run this test here. What I'm doing here is I'm running a speed test on my home PC. Okay, so this is my my broadband connection at home uh, just to see what it's running. And then I'm going to run it with a VPN. So hopefully you can see some sort of comparison. <coughs> I've got a reasonably fast internet connection, nothing too dramatic, but it's about 40. You can see there about 41, 48 download speed. Um, I see this site is called www.speedtest.net. So I urge you to try this. Uh, if you find a VPN service, I'll show you the one I use, but if you're trying another, um, check the speeds before and while using the VPN and just sort of compare them. Okay. And then you get a good um, idea of what sort of impact those servers are having. So we're getting 41.58 there megabits per second download and 13.7 upload. Um, now what I'm going to do is close this website. Um, right, sorry, I'm just going to close that there. Uh, and I'm going to start up my VPN. Um, I use one called Identity Cloaker. Um, I found this is the most sophisticated and the, the fastest one available. <coughs> It's um, it runs. It, it is very sophisticated, but you don't need to use that. Basically, the the main settings I change are the encryption level. You can change it to non or strong or max. Uh, non, if you were just streaming video and you're not really protecting any details, just turn the encryption off if you want. Strong or maximum obviously offers more more protection if you're doing home banking or stuff like that. Um, it has a minimal impact on the speed. I'll leave it as strong because I, I don't tend to um, change it from that. Um, you can switch different settings. It's got loads of different servers in different countries. For this test, I'm in Britain at the moment, so I'm going to choose a UK server, which will generally be the fastest. The fastest server will be the one nearest you, really. So you select which one. And I'm going to connect through to that there. Oh, no, that's a Spanish server. I don't know why I went to that. I'm going to switch to a UK server and then I'm going to start uh, my browser. Oh, yeah, I'm going to start my browser and I'm going to go to the speed test application again. Let's just go to that. Here we go. And what I'm going to do is run the same test as I did a, a minute ago. Um, here we go. I'm going to run the test. <coughs> And this time it's running through the VPN. My VPN is enabled, um, so it's going to do the check. See, so it's enabled here. It's got a little connection button there. Okay, so now it's downloading, uh, and you can see the speed now, 28. The ping slightly higher. Speed 42, I can't remember, it's slightly different. Uh, it's about the same, really. The upload speed normally slows down a little bit from um, 
when using the VPN. Um, so that's two or three meg second. But the, the important ones, the download speed, which you can see is virtually the same. The 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 one thing with um, Identity Cloaker is that it does have <coughs> uses a compression technology, so it can actually, in some situations, you can get a faster speed um, than you do faster speed using the VPN than you do without, um, which is quite unusual. Um, you, you can't rely on that, but it's best to do your own test. The, the best test is the one you do yourself. You can see in this situation using the UK server, it has virtually no impact on the, the speed of my connection at all, which is very, very good. A lot of your VPN servers will cut your speed down by half or you'll be running at 10 25 percent of the speed that depends on your uh, the speed of your connection and where the vpn server is located um and that's the end of my video um it's an anti cloaker there's a discount voucher that should appear on the screen somewhere um i recommend try the trial account first it's um only a few dollars if you're going to try it. i think it's about five euros something like that um, which you can try it for 10 days and then try the speed test and make sure it's running. You can tweak the settings on it and speed it up or slow it down, but as you can see, I don't really have to. Um, if I was perhaps accessing an Australian website, I might have to tweak it a little bit to go a bit faster, but um, I never usually have any problems. I normally use US and UK servers. Okay, well, thank you very much for watching and I hope you've enjoyed the video. Thanks very much. Bye-bye.